Hello, uh, welcome back. We are going through the energy and energy analysis and this is the second part of the lecture of that series for that particular topic. So what we have done until now within this uh, topic is to understand the concept of uh, energy and different forms, uh, nature of uh, internal energy, the concept of heat and the terminology associated with energy transfer by heat. In this uh, lecture, we are going to look at work and work related aspects uh, that is uh, different kind of works. So work like heat is an interaction at the boundary between the system and surrounding. If you consider a closed system and if there is energy transfer is there and if it is not due to the heat then the it has to be due to the work. So energy transfer due to the heat is due to the, the difference in the temperature. So if there is no temperature difference and if there is energy transfer it has to be uh, due to the work and that is what we talk. So you have this uh, heat and work for a closed system and if uh, there is no temperature difference then energy transfer has to be due to work. Now work is the energy transfer associated with the force acting through a distance and so the examples are the rising piston, rotating shaft and electrical wire crossing the system boundary. These are all different kind of work and this is uh, related to some form of force which act to a distance. The unit is same as that of heat that is kilojoules and the typical work during a process between 1 and 2 is referred to as 1 uh, W 1 2. So it is not referred as delta W and we will know, we will discuss this part in, in subsequent slide. We will simply refer this the work between the process between the state 1 and 2 as simply W. The work done per unit mass is given by uh, the simple uh, division of W with mass and it will be written as small w. Okay. And the work done per unit time is nothing but power. So the work or heat has a direction and we need to provide the magnitude as well as direction to provide complete description. So this is we are going to discuss now a formal sign of convention. So heat transfer to the system or to a system is positive and work done on a system is negative. Or in other words, we can write in this form that we are going to define this Q in, Q out, W in, W out specific directions is already provided here. So if you are not aware of the direction, you can assume a direction and you can do the calculation. If the value is positive, that means your assumptions are right. Otherwise, you have to change the direction. Now uh, heat and work both have similarities. The both are recognized at the boundary of the system as they cross the boundaries. That is both heat and water are boundary phenomena. Okay, this we have emphasized now many times. System poses energy, but it does not contain heat or work. Both are associated with the process, not a state. Okay, and unlike properties, which is a point function, heat or work has no meaning at a state. It's only relevant when there is there is a change in the heat or uh, change in the states. Both are path function. That's something which we are going to. Uh, discuss a bit now. Okay, so essentially means that uh, both work and heat are path functions. Their magnitude depends on the path followed during a process as well as at the end state. It's not only the process, but as well as the end state they depend on it. Okay, so uh, let us further look into this. Let's take a case where you have a change in the volume as you change the pressure. There are two processes which are considered here. This is a PV diagram. You have a state 1 and state 2. Uh, you are changing the volume from 2 meter cube to 5 meter cube. Now, considering the volume itself is a state property or is at the point uh, function, thus for both the uh, process, your delta V will remain the same. Since properties are point function, they have exact differential, that means the integration of dv is simply delta v. But that is not true for work. For work, you have different uh, values can be seen for different uh, processes because they depend on the path. So the path functions as we have already discussed, they have inexact differential. So if you integrate the work along a path, it should not be delta w. It should be written 
in the form of let's say w12 and the reason being that delta w means that you are saying the system contains work but this is not true the system do not contain as we already discussed that the work is recognized only at the boundary thus we cannot uh, write the integral of uh, delta w uh, in the form of delta w so in order to avoid all this confusion you can simply write uh, any change as simply delta uh, w 1 to 2 or you can write uh, as process a or process b as depicted in this particular example okay so there are many forms of work they are mechanical forms and they are non mechanical forms so let me first describe the mechanical forms of work the two requirement for a work interaction between a system and surrounding there must be a force which acts on a boundary and the boundary must move so this is an example where the force is constant where in that case you are just going to uh, use the expression force into distance when force is not constant then you can integrate f over ds from point 0.1 to point 0.2 as in this case okay so the work done is proportional to the force applied and the distance traveled if you are not doing any movement as in the case of uh, this gentleman sleeping on the bed then there is no work uh, done for the particular time frame so there are other forms of work uh, one is the shaft work which is extremely relevant for many uh, engineering applications so, such as boat where the energy is transferred through the rotating shaft okay so let's consider the shaft here the rotating shaft here where you are applying a force on a, a moment of arm r so in that case you generate torque and the torque is given by t equal to f multiplied by r which essentially means that f is nothing but t divided by r and the distance you also can calculate by knowing the number of rotation done so for example uh, for case of n number of rotation the total distance uh, which the force has act, acted on it is the circumference multiplied by m so the work uh, shaft work would be simply f multiplied by s in that case you can uh, replace this expression by this values and in the such case you can get this expression which is 2 pi n multiplied by the torque ok so uh, in case of pi unit expression this will be the power transmitted through the shaft will be given by uh, this expression where the rate of uh, rotation is considered so it is proportional to the torque as well as the uh, number of rotation per unit time the other forms of work mechanical work such as spring okay here for example the spring is resting and then when you apply a force the displacement caused can be given as dx and the force then the work would be given in this form where simply you multiply f and the displacement now this force if it is a linear elastic spring we know that this force is proportional to the uh, displacement and hence f is equal to kx can be uh, replaced here and you can integrate it in order to get the work of spring for two uh, positions x1 and x2 but you can also analyze the work done on an elastic solid bar which can be considered an elastic uh, spring and uh, you can apply a force and force should be in an elastic regime where the force should not be so large that it uh, distort the uh, solid uh, bar permanently in such case you can express the work of elastic uh, done on the solid bar in this form where this is, is a normal stress the other example of mechanical form is surface tension work so now uh, this is uh, a rigid wire frame which contains the film this is a simply let us say a water film now the air is outside so there are two interfaces so there are two water air interface okay as we know a surface tension acts on the interface so you have two lines of uh, interfaces which essentially is associated here so what is the force which is required to overcome the microscopic force between air and water that would be the force uh, that would be the surface tension multiplied by the interfacial length here okay so in this case the interfacial length is 2b so this is the surface tension this 2b is the uh, is the interfacial length which essentially is nothing but uh, the length of this wire here this is b and the other side of it so that becomes b plus b is equal to 2b okay so you can you can write the calculate the force calculate the work done completely when you change uh, 
from this position to this position uh, that means from 1 to 2 by this expression here where this uh, this surface tension and this is the area which you are changing which is nothing but 2b multiplied by the displacement which you are causing by moving the wire okay from position 1 to position 2 okay so the other form of work uh, could be uh, you can take an example of let's say elevator car and uh, here you know that you the body is raised you know as you use in a uh, elevator or lift in such case there is no temperature difference thus the work done should be uh, other does the whole change in energy is uh, due to the work done by the elevator so in such case the work transfer needed to raise a body is equal to the potential energy of the body or if you want to accelerate a body that the work transfer would be to uh, equivalent to the change in the kinetic energy of the body okay there are other non mechanical work such as electrical polarizable work which we are not going to discuss in details so that will be the end of uh, this lecture we are going to introduce the first law of thermodynamics and other aspects of that in the next lecture